Hello and welcome. Let's get into it and look at Fintech Futures top news of the week. The UK fintech industry is making a robust recovery from the pandemic, attracting $2.9 billion in the first quarter of 2021, according to industry body Innovate Finance. Investment in the sector is up by 331% compared to the same period last year. In addition, 2021 has already seen six mega deals worth $100 million plus. The record $2.9 billion was invested across 117 deals, with mega amounts going to Checkout.com, Starling Bank, Blockchain, Rapid and PPRO Financial. An increasing number of UK fintechs announcing IPOs and plans to list on the public market has also bolstered the sector. HSBC has introduced the Artificial Intelligence Powered Multi-Asset Index, AIMAX Family, developed in collaboration with Equibot and using data analytics processor IBM Watson Discovery, drawing on both traditional sources of financial information and modern outlets such as social media posts. AIMAX is the first rules-based multi-asset investment strategy to use AI to construct diversified growth portfolios. AIMAX builds the portfolios by developing intuition from historical data and learning from new information as it emerges. The index invests across 15 asset classes and five investable asset types, developed equities, developed bonds, emerging markets, real assets and inflation assets, and a cash index. HSBC's AIPEX, the world's first AI-powered stock index family using IBM Watson, went live in August 2019. Since then, the AIPEX Total Return Index has outperformed the S&P 500 Total Return Index by 4.79 percentage points. The bank claims that based on stimulated and historical returns, as of 26 of February 2021, AIMAX would have performed above the S&P 500 price return index with significantly less volatility and more diversification during the prior 15 years. Eleven Owns, a startup in Catalonia, Spain, says it has become the first neobank in Europe to create a private social network for customers. Features include access to a library of videos on finance, economy, and well-being. Eleven Owns TV and a marketplace where customers can do business with each other. Another feature, La Plaza, gives users the opportunity to learn about the bank agents' personalities, skills, and aptitudes. The founder and chairman of the bank said, we are a new category of social network with the latest advances of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, wrapped up into a Netflix format, states James Seen, the founder and chairman of Eleven Owns. Fintech banks have struggled with holding on to the relationship aspect of traditional banks, and community banks have failed to optimize in the digital sphere. This gap is filled by Eleven Owns offering. Other features include an independent self-assessment for customers looking for a loan or savings product. Marketplace crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending services will be added in the coming weeks. Eleven Owns is set to become one of Catalonia's first non-Spanish linked banks with 148 founding members. It intends to be a representation of the region's 7.6 million population. Well, that's all for this week's Fintech Futures Top News Reports. We look forward to seeing you again very soon indeed. Until then, look after yourselves and goodbye.